Ahead of his big European title fight night in Manchester this weekend, Denton-based boxer Matthew Macklin took time out to relax amongst the local boxing community last night. Also in attendance at the event held in Salford were the Hattons, but no Ricky. Although news of his imminent decision to return to the ring was all the talk, I went along to the Lower Curzel Social Club last night to find out more. Respected broadcaster and journalist Steve Bunns hosted a night of boxing banter and interviews in the heart of Salford as some big names from the local boxing community mixed in with the fans. Ricky Hatton wasn't in attendance, he's on holiday in Ibiza, but with increasing speculation suggesting the former world champion is set to announce a return to the ring, who better to speak to than his brother and dad? What a lot of people don't realise is, what, like he said to me, he said, Dad, you know, in, in just about 11, 12 years, I've had, I've had 48 fights, he said, I've been very busy, he said, and it's, it's not just the physical, it's the, it's the mental pressure that you put on yourself, he said, it's just nice to now to have a few months, concentrate on, on the promotional side and all my young boxers, uh, but he has been in the gym uh, a few times now, and you, you, you can see that there's a, there's a little bit of movement, a little bit of the old, uh, twinkle coming back there so uh, we'll just wait and see he'll make the decision but uh, probably uh, I think he'll probably see the year the year out and and, and then uh, probably he'll uh, he'll uh, get the urge again he's, like you say he's been coming in the in the gym doing a little bit on the on the bags and that and you know he's, he's not in any rush you know obviously people's got their opinions on what he should should or shouldn't do but He's, you know, only only he can make that decision, really. You know, uh, he'll know in himself whether he wants to continue, and if he feels he, he still can and wants to, I'm sure he'll give it another go. If he doesn't get the, the urge to give it another go, then, then retire, and if he retires, he's had a great career. So, you know, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Have you been on the phone to Ricky after the Manchester derby? I was straight on the on the text, and uh, I think he's only just recovered, to be honest. But, you know, those uh, those bitter blues have done some whinging, but it was, uh, it was a fantastic game. Game. The Hattons are promoting the big fight in Manchester this weekend as Matthew Macklin takes on Amin Asakainen at the Velodrome for the right to be European middleweight champion. And he puts himself under the spotlight in front of the audience, insisting the backing of the Hattons and the opportunity to be a champion is a fantastic opportunity. Uh, Ricky and me spy lots of rounds together. He believes in me, and to have someone believe in you means they're going to get behind you and straight away after signing with them, they've, they've delivered a. Uh, me a shot of the European title and got me home advantage and that's the kind of big name in America, in, in uh, Finland. So to do that, it, it's a big, big thing for them. It shows what they're about as promoters to get that shot and to get it here. And then it's, it's, it, it shows they believe in me and now I'll have to repay them by going and winning that title. Now, thanks so much. Let's let Matt get back. He's got to get back to his hotel. So Matthew Macklin is cool and confident ahead of his big fight, a big night for the Hattons promotions too, but the best news for boxing could be set to be announced, that Ricky Hatton will be back in the ring.